everyone, how are you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make a surf and turf dinner. Now, it's actually Father's Day today, and two of my favorite things are steak and shrimp. So I'm going to be making some shrimp skewers with some mushrooms and zucchini, and then my wife picked up two beautiful ribeye steaks from j and &E Meats down the street. I'll leave a link below to their Facebook page. And uh, I got some uh, garlic lover seasoning from Love of Foodie, which I'm going to be using on the shrimp. And I got some meat lover seasoning from Love of Foodie that I'm going to be using on the steaks. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Love of Foodie, they make a, a great variety of different seasonings and spice blends. I'll leave a link below. And this is going to be super easy. The best part about this, the steaks are going to be sous vide, so they're only going to need a few minutes to put a little crust on them after they're done cooking in the water bath. And these shrimp, uh, these are jumbo shrimp. They're 21 to 25 per pound. They're only going to take a few minutes, maybe two to three minutes on each side. So basically, you can cook this all together, and within 10 minutes, everything's done. So it's super easy and super delicious. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is season up these steaks and get them in some uh, Ziploc freezer bags. So as I mentioned before, I'm using Love of Foodie Meat Lovers Spice Blend. This is perfect for meat and like I said I'll leave a link below I also did a great interview with Michelle the owner I'll leave a link below down to that as well we had a nice conversation about how I started my YouTube channel and stuff like that so you might be interested in checking that out so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna generously season all sides of the steak and we're just gonna kinda let these hang out and let the spices kinda the salt and the spices kinda sink into the meat here season it up real good and then I'm gonna heat up my sous vide bath because this is the longest part you can cook these now these are pretty thick these are like an inch and a half thick and you can see they're pretty big they're probably I'm not quite sure probably close to a pound a piece that's why we figured two would be enough for both uh, Monica and I and Kyle and then of course with the shrimp skewers we should have plenty all right so I'll continue to season this up and then I'm just gonna put them in regular Ziploc freezer bags I'll show you how everything looks when we're done be back in a minute all right here we are seasoned on all four sides I put them in some uh, freezer bags I'm just gonna let them hang out on the counter I'm gonna get my uh, sous vide container all right my sous vide bath is warmed up now you can use whatever temperature you want these are pretty uh, thick steaks, and I want to go on the medium rare side. Usually I do 135. In this case, I'm going to go 132. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going below 131 unless you're, you know, if you like it rare. Uh, you can go, you know, 129, but just make sure not to keep them in there uh, longer than like three hours. All right, so you know how this works. We have the steaks in the bag. I'm going to kind of... I kind of push most of the air out and have open it up in the corner here and then using the water displacement method we're going to kind of push it under and kind of force the rest of that air out like so we'll seal her up clamp her on and we just do the same thing on the other side and I'll probably let these go in at least two hours, probably more like three. We'll see. You can go all the way up to four. Anything longer than that, it's going to get, the, the meat's going to change its consistency. It's going to get a little too mushy, in my opinion. Okay. All right, what know. I usually like to do is kind of use a pair of tongs because it kind of helps keep that steak underneath the water line. This one is really well submerged. This one was floating a little, so just like that. We'll be back shortly to do the shrimp skewers. Okay, I'm gonna make a mixture of some olive oil and seasonings that we're gonna use to brush on the shrimp. Now, 
you can use olive oil but we have this uh, tastefully simple roasted garlic infused oil so since we got some garlic seasoning we're going to use that and then of course the seasoning as I mentioned already is the Love of Foodie Garlic Lovers seasoning so not very complicated we're probably going to put I don't know a couple tablespoons of the oil and then I'm going to put I don't know maybe a maybe a half of a tablespoon in there and of course we can add more if necessary and this is what we're going to brush on the shrimp kind of give it some flavor while it hangs out in the fridge while we wait for those uh, steaks to cook so we back All right, so now we're going to assemble the skewers I got some sliced zucchini some fresh mushrooms and the shrimps now you can use whatever skewers you like if you're going to use the wooden ones make sure to soak them in water for around a half hour so you don't have any uh, skewers burning when you cook them on the grill I got this really nice skewer set from a company called Flaster Kitchen I did a, a video review I'll leave a link below but these are really really cool and I'll kind of show you why pull these things out these are really nice but what's really cool is when you're done cooking you just basically squeeze this piece on the end and it helps you slide all your food off okay so I'm gonna remove the protective little tip and so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to start let's get this out of the way here not very complicated you want to try to use the skewers uh, to go through two pieces of shrimp first the head and then the tail we're gonna push it all the way down all right so, so we got the one shrimp and we're just gonna take the zucchini and then of course the mushroom let's see just like this huh right through the thick part here and then we'll repeat with another shrimp through the tail and through the head section the body section another piece of zucchini and another mushroom just like so so let me continue to do these we'll be back in a minute all right so here you are some of these now as I got down to the end I realized I wasn't going to be able to utilize uh, all the shrimp if I just did one after the other so I put a couple a couple of these have more shrimp squeezed in there so now we're gonna take this uh, this oil blend and we're just gonna kinda paint over these skewers you see I got a little have these things in a pan so it doesn't drip all over the place so just like this and we're just gonna let them hang out in the fridge now whatever you do don't put like lemon juice uh, in your whatever kind of marinade that you're putting on these while they sit in the fridge because the acid in the lemon can actually start to turn the shrimp kind of mushy so just be careful so just like so not very hard I might have to make a little more for the other side All right, I'm definitely gonna have to make more for the other side but what we're gonna do then now I'm gonna take more of that garlic lover seasoning and I'm just going to lightly sprinkle a little bit on top just like so look at how beautiful this looks I'm going to turn them all over and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'll throw them in the fridge they got to sit in there for at least a couple hours until our steaks are ready so look how simple and easy this is guys just to let you know too I use just frozen shrimp and uh, yeah just put them in a colander run them under cold water in the sink for around five minutes and uh, I had to peel the shells off but that didn't take very long and there you go all right drink review time while we're waiting for those steaks to cook this is a cryo stash in Imperial Indian Pale Ale from uh, cryo hops or no, hop valley from Eugene Oregon 8.7 percent alcohol so that's what I'm having this is my daughter Ava Grace my son Kyle hey. Now Ava Grace is having something, I hope she's not going to have an issue with this. This is actually hard as a rock, it's been in the freezer. We saw this at the store, it's an icy slush. Coldest drink in town. And uh, let's see, just says freeze, 
squeeze and enjoy. So I think you kind of squeeze it like a, what do you have those, like those uh, stuff in the clear tubes? What are those things called? Like the Gogurts. Or... Yeah, kind of like a, Mom, what's, what are those called, those things you buy? Anyway, and then uh, this is what Kyle's having. It's Sprecker. I wasn't looking at you. Dr. Sprecker. This is a Wisconsin brand, so this is their take on Dr. Pepper, Dr. Sprecker. And uh, you can buy this all over Wisconsin. You can even buy this at the Farm and Fleet. <laughs> so. Okay, let me look at the grams of sugar real quick. 23 grams. Uh oh. 23. I don't know if that's twist off or not. And also, and also <laughs> uh, you, you know I won't have any trouble with this. Trouble with this. Well, I don't know because you got to squeeze it. It's not like in a glass. You're not drinking it. So I don't know. Let me get mine poured real quick. It looks good. And then I'll drink your drink. It smells like cherry. It's it pretty cold. Like Alright, let's. Uh, yeah, I said it does. Kind of tear mark here. Okay, let's tear. I tear it right along that line. All right. Oh. Wait, where's this made? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I was reading off the ingredients. It says Wisconsin honey. Oh, well, there you go. All right, Avery, just look at that. It's like solid blue in there, blue raspberry. I never had like oh. drinks that are basically kind of like that, but I should actually get a We had this in our freezer out in the garage, which is like a deep freezer. That probably was a mistake. You, Straw is unnecessary. Grace, there's no way a straw is getting in this. This is rock solid. That's why I'm trying to warm it up so I can push it up. This is why I said you should have left it out for a minute. Yeah, I should have left it out. My bad. Well, you know what? You could tip it back. There's a little liquid in there. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Come over here. You could try to use that just to try the little bit of uh, <laughs> like give it liquid on top. I can see if it works. Hey, right, let's uh You can't push it down, you know. Okay, anyway. Why don't you put it in a bowl of hot water for a minute? Yeah, I can do that. But then but then you're gonna have to stop this video. No, well we can just hold on for a second. I'll pause it. We'll be back in a second, guys. Alright, we're back. It's a lot more loose. Stick your straw in there. Okay, okay, I know how to put Okay, I just want to make sure you get it on the side, not try to push it in the center where you can't get the straw. This down. might be the there. first time there I think that we've had to cut. No, no, okay, hang on. First, we gotta say cheers to our viewers. Cheers, be careful. Oh, I thought you were gonna pick up the back end. Okay, cheers. Cheers to each other. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, hoppy. Ooh, very hoppy. Little bit of, uh, like, orange. A little bit of, like, citrus, tangerine. Oh, yeah, this is so good. <laughs> Definitely hoppy. Whoa. I mean, it's not bad because it's a little bit on the sweet side, actually, but I think it's so sweet to offset the hops. It's very hop strong. Okay. I'm sure I'll get used to it as I drink it, but it is 8.7% alcohol, so maybe that's maybe that's what I'm feeling as well. All right. Okay, this is going to be my crazy favorite. This is so good. Crazy favorite? So, yes, you guys know the back here says... Freeze, squeeze, and enjoy. Yeah. Okay, so you like you really wanna try good. you wanna try to push it up and try it? Mm -hmm. And then have it again. It's really good. Okay, okay. And it's Kyle. So good for a pop Dr. Sprecher. Alright, so I think a lot of people that don't like Dr. Pepper say the reason why is because it's got that like medicinal taste. It's got yeah, that medical, and I can see like, what that is. Taste. I like the taste of Dr. Pepper. And I get what they're saying. This doesn't really have that like medicinal taste, which I actually think is good because it doesn't taste like medicine in my opinion. Okay. But it, this doesn't really have that. It's got more of like a, it, it's like Dr. Pepper felt that, but I can't help but notice it has a cherry flavor for some reason. I don't well, know why. Some cherry in there. Okay. I looked on the back and it doesn't say there's anything related to any. Cherry? It's got a, it's got some sort of fruity taste and it doesn't say. Look at the ingredients. Well, there's one positive of this flavor. new type of drink for Ava Grace. I can guarantee you she's not going to have an empty pouch by the time we're done saying goodbye. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Not recommended for children, pregnant women, nursing women, and priests.
person sensitive to caffeine. Yeah. Must have a lot of caffeine if they got a warning label on there. Maybe that's a thing in Wisconsin. I don't know. In any case, guys, cheers. We're going to come back. I think uh, it's been going just around an hour, so I'll let it go. I can let it go for one or two more hours. Shrimp are in the fridge, just kind of hanging out. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. We'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> no empty cup. No empty cup or empty pouch. Because <laughs> if you go in our videos, you'll go to Drinker Beer in the middle and you'll see me use an empty cup. Cheers with an empty cup. <laughs> empty cup that's right. <laughs> but this oh, time it's not. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, these steaks are almost done and the shrimp are ready to be thrown on the grill. And I decided to try my life a do or life do? Life a do. Life do. <laughs> my life do um, grill. That they sent me. I did a uh, review video of this, and this is pretty cool. This is the whole grill, this little bag here. Look how thin it is. You can slide it under your car seat or something if you were going camping. But this is what I'm going to cook on. I'm going to get it assembled, get it outside, and then we'll get the food thrown on. Be back in a second. All right, here they are. They've been in the fridge for around three hours. Man, they smell wonderful. Let's go outside, get that grill going. We're going to cook these first. Meet you guys outside. Right, here we are, the Life Do stove. I don't know if you can see, I got a chimney full of uh, coals. I got some laying on the bottom here too. The only downside to this stove is that there's no way to cover it, so it's just gonna go full blast pretty much here. But that's fine, because what I'm needing it for tonight is a quick sear on those steaks and a little quick sear for two three minutes on each side for those shrimp kebabs they're gonna both cook very fast all right guys so now you'll know why i picked this particular grill oops to cook this although you know what i didn't factor in i'm gonna have to squeeze things together i packed it too tight but i think we can do it all right. This isn't going to take long. I'd say two minutes, two to three minutes per side. Check out, whoop. Let's flip these middle ones here. Oh yeah, oh it's starting to smell good. You don't want to burn anything. Now look at, they're looking beautiful. a little give them a little bit of space to breathe wow look at those all right guys we'll give it a few more minutes all right it's been around it's approaching two minutes since we flipped them and I can hear the coals are flaring up for sure let's take a look here oh yeah they look wonderful. You know what? I think they still need a little bit. Not all the shrimp are cooked. Probably another minute. Then I'll flip them for another minute and I think we'll be done. Oh, but they look wonderful, don't they? Be back in a second. Man, look at these. Look how beautiful. Okay. 
So what I did is we, uh, I should say what Monica did, is she melted some butter, we put in some Parmesan cheese, and some of that Love a Foodie garlic uh, spice there, garlic lovers, and now we're just going to brush this on the top and flip them over. I mean, come on. Are you guys ready for this? Woo! Wish you guys could taste it when we do. <clears throat> I'm going to let this hang out. i got to go throw those steaks on the grill. But I had to add a couple more charcoal because that, uh, that grill really burns through fuel fast because there's no lid, there's no way to control it. It's got air coming from everywhere, so it's very intense. Okay, now we're getting down to some Parmesan here. Alright guys, I'll flip them over and then I'm going to meet you guys outside with those steaks. They're very tender from the sous vide. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Give them a couple minutes, flip them, and then uh, dinner will be served. Alright. In around two minutes here. Give it a couple more minutes and we will be done. All right, here we are. Look at this, man. These beautiful ribeye steaks and these wonderful garlic shrimp kebabs. Be back to try this in a second. All right, guys. I'm just going to cut into one of these here. These are two big steaks and we're going to be sharing it. So let's just cut it right down the center here. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect medium rare. Wow. Alright. Let me start to cut some pieces here. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back. I'm here with my family, my wife Monica, my son Kyle. Mike Kyle, what do you want to try first? Shrimp or steak? Yeah, let's try to steak. A steak? Okay. Oh yeah. I'm gonna grab a piece of it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had steak in a while. Mm. Mm. Thank you, JD Meats. Mm hmm. All right. Eric. Mm. You were right. Not you. Not you, Eric. Okay. You, Eric. JD Eric. When I asked you what to make, <laughs> you were right. All right, hang on. Oh my Kyle. gosh, good. Kyle's going for here. Try to pet mushroom. I'm going to try a mushroom. Next to kebabs. Mm. You're going right for the shrimp, huh? Well, it's just two pieces of meat. Shrimp, you try some? Mm hmm. Mmm. Let me try the zucchini. Wow. That mm. garlic seasoning is delicious. Mmm. Mm hmm. Happy so Father's Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Perfect thing to make too with that uh, garlic lovers. These shrimp kebabs. That is really kebabs. good, actually, Michelle. You outdid yourself. This is good. Yeah, and uh, you and know. I like that there's no like extra GMOs or added crap. Yeah, Which one? It's a real, a real the deal. Garlic lovers. I remember when we went to high school. Love of food. This matter. Yes. This is our favorite. Mm hmm Love of okay. Love of foodie. The garlic lovers is mm -hmm. the deal. Mm hmm It's good. And if you do make these shrimp kebabs, using the mushrooms and the zucchini is good because they don't take that long to cook because shrimp is so fast to cook. You can overcook it. If you're trying to get, you know, something else done like uh, peppers, I think, are a little bit tougher. Oh, yeah. Or Maybe onion. Longer. Onion. Onion, same thing. Yeah. This is perfect. And the flavor, though, I would just say the, 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 the flavor profile of oh, that, big old mushroom. that uh, garlic lovers. Of love of foodie is perfect. <laughs> it's not too garlicky, but it's got a little blend of other stuff. Look but at the camera. Good. Tell me what you think of the mushroom. Wow, tastes like a mushroom, <laughs> but a good mushroom, huh? Yeah, good mushroom. Mmm. I like any mushroom. All right. But well, we're gonna have a good dinner tonight for sure. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button for the video if you liked it. The little logo on the bottom of the screen. With my logo, this logo on it, click on that, 
you can subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it if you do. And then my link above and below in the video description of my website. Oops, she almost dropped a piece on the ground. Finished. EricSmokinBarbecue.com. Go check it out. All my videos and all my recipes. And thanks again for stopping by. Mm. Thanks, guys. Give this a try. See you next time. Bye.